uh, big data processing let's understand in in two minutes big data processing means processing big data what does it entail what are the components how do we process the big data so obviously first step is inputting the data collecting the data ingestion from different sources second is you want to transmit that data to a certain place to store and process it so transmission here if you want real time transmission you can use something like kafka if you want batch you can use some uh, message broker like rabbitmq etc at its own pace now you want to store this raw data there you need a storage unit the storage unit could be uh, your data, data lake, it could be your S3, it could be your HDFS. So these are distributed storage systems, storing raw data. Once you store this raw data, you need to process this data to analyze, etc, etc, number crunch on this data. Processing engines comes next, like Spark or Hadoop. These are processing engines for big data. Now, once you process this data, you want these insights to be stored in some uh, better a database or a white column database or a data warehouse generally for running analytical queries so these type of data switch comes into picture now something like your uh, redshift or your cassandra where you want to run analytical queries very fast so that happens after the processing one more thing is you want to now call these storage systems to analyze like run queries so query engines like Spark SQL or Presto, which run queries very fast. These come into picture in the analytics. So that's the fifth part. These are all the key components in big data processing. So to re recap, ingesting, transmitting, storing the raw data, processing the raw data, indexing the data or whatever you can call it, scheming, scheme, scheming the data to data warehouse or database, and then analyzing this data using queries. And then lastly, you can have visualizations. These are the tools for that. That's all. Thank you.